court because they want the government to stop painting speed cameras fluorescent yellow. They want them to be grey and hidden so they catch more motorists. I no. think that's really I tell you what, I've got the thing here, Transport 2000, just so that you know who they are. Um, they say in their own, I think this is their own website, Transport 2000's vision is of a country where traffic no longer dominates our lives, where many of our journeys can be made on foot or cycle or using public transport, where you don't need a car to enjoy the countryside or city life. What's the word I can use at this time of night? <laughs> I've got to go to Newcastle. Can I walk? Places are a long way apart. That's why we have cars. Anyway, let's get on. Now, whenever I pull over for petrol these days, someone I can guarantee will walk over and say, have you driven the new Mini yet? Everybody has the same question. Excuse me, do you mind if I can just perch here? Thanks very much. What is it like? Not me, though. My question is, what on earth is an aquadrome? I guess we've all driven up the M1. We've all seen that brown sign that says Billing Aquadrome. It turn off 16? Is it 16? Yeah, 16. To Billing Aquadrome. What is that? So I thought we could kill two birds with one stone. Take the new Mini up there, find out what it's like, and find out what an aquadrome is. There are three different types of Mini. There's the supercharged Cooper S, the normal Cooper, and at the bottom of the range, this one, the Mini One. Ten and a half thousand pounds worth of simple, end of the pier, no-nonsense fun. A bit like Billing Aquadrome, then. Turns out it's a caravan site. Fun for all the family. Star turns every night, go-karts during the day, and peaceful swan pedalo rides in the evening. You can stay here in a caravan, nine pounds a night. Nine pounds. Eleven if you want electricity. And there's a choice of three restaurants. Or you can eat 6 95 Come here, eat chips, have a nice time. Fantastic. 60s living then to suit a 60s car. I was a huge fan of the old Mini and I really thought that BMW would mess this one up, but they haven't. They've actually improved it. The dash is brilliant. I no longer have to drive with my knees wrapped around my ears. And your spine doesn't shatter every time you run over a piece of grit. It's a wonderful, comfortable car. Just brilliant. Of course, because it now has some suspension, it doesn't fly through.